It's Friday, it's our last day in the office. I can't tell you now like what exactly she does with retrofade. Everything. <laughs> You, you, you have the shovel and you dug the hole. <laughs> Welcome back. It is Friday. It's our last day in the office. I'm just having some breakfast. Um, it's literally like Santa's workshop inside here today. Um, I'll try and show you now. Just having some overnight oats and almond butter. Kellen's here. I'm going to give a talk through kind of like our work day now in a minute like I promised in yesterday's vlog but first this is how the place looks right now after last night's clear out um all this stuff is coming home with us for like family and friends and just like different presents and things um this bag here is for charity and then over here are all the retro flame fan um giveaway prizes so the instagram ones and then the youtube ones which will finish the last day of vlogmas so we haven't chosen the winners of those yet so there's still loads of time i'm going to be adding in some more stuff too so definitely still enter there's a big mix of makeup skincare face masks like hair stuff loads so all you have to do every day is just on any of the vlogmas videos comment hashtag retro flame fam and you could win some of these goodie bags and yeah, that is what we've been doing. I went to the gym because I didn't go last night. Um, got that out of the way, washed my hair, did all my usual hair stuff like I showed you yesterday as well. And yeah, I'm gonna put the camera up here now and we'll have a quick chat about kind of what our plan is for our last day and just, yeah, a general work chat. Okay, so today is our last day in the office in 2017. We will be working next week, but it's gonna be kind of from Ireland, so we'll be a little bit all over the place and we're going to Cork for a few days and then it's Christmas. <laughs> so today's our last kind of day just to get things wrapped up. And then later we have our Christmas party <laughs> in the plaza. We're gonna go shopping now soon and go for a drink in the plaza, so that should be nice. So I figured just it being our last day, we'd have a quick chat about like, how we work together. Um, Kaylin came on the Retroflame team last October, so a year in now. Um, and since then, I guess the whole dynamic just changed because before then it was just me. So I was kind of doing everything for like those five years before and just kind of trying my best to keep it all going. But I knew in order to expand and keep growing and just kind of keep getting better and changing that I would have to bring someone else onto the team. And it just worked out so well that it was Kaylin and we really kind of got our system like in place this year and i think we're kind of at the end of this year now we've noticed a big change in like the way we work and kind of our efficiency to this time last year so i figured i'd just like share some kind of tips and tricks um and just kind of a behind the scenes look at how we do things here so if you are a business owner or you work for yourself or you're a blogger or you're a youtuber you might find some of these interesting and even if you're not <laughs> it might be good to see what goes on behind the scenes as well i have like two or three questions uh, maybe four and we'll answer them now Okay, the first thing I'm gonna chat about is, I guess, why Kaylin joined the team and what she does on the Retroflame team and just, I guess, the changes that have kind of happened since you started working with Retroflame. Kaylin came on the team last October. And what did you do before that? <laughs> I was, um, well, actually, I was on a bit of a career break before that. <laughs> I was working in Mac up until uh, May, Mac in Cork. I was working there for a year and a half as a makeup um, artist and salesperson. And then I left Mac and I went traveling for a, f a month or two. And then when I came back from traveling, um, we had actually been applying for the visa the whole time. So I, I wasn't mm -hmm. just, I hadn't just quit my job out of pin air. I was hoping to get the visa. And I said, you know, I might as well go traveling before I get the visa because um, that was my best opportunity to do it. So then when I came back, um, we waited another month uh, before we found out and then got the visa in, I think it was, got the August. Visa. Or got the visa, um, got approved for the visa on October 1st and moved here on October mm. 7th. And yeah, haven't really looked back since. <laughs> I guess I will admit that I was slow to kind of like delegate and bring someone else onto the team. But I knew with Kaylin that like us being sisters, like she knows my style and she knows the way I talk and write emails. <laughs> and I knew that it would be just a really kind of like organic transition. So I guess like Kaylin will tell you now like what exactly she does with retroflame mm -hmm. everything, everything. <laughs> uh, 
I mean, no, not everything, but I always joke with everyone that I have like a million different roles. Like some days I'm a photographer, some days I'm a writer, some days I'm accounting. Like honestly, I have to become a creative person. I'm making thumbnails. Honestly, it's just a, a very like diverse, a very diverse job. Yeah. Like it's just, yeah. I mean, I don't think you could really go to college or do a course for this. I don't. Yeah. Obviously you could, there's loads of courses that would help you with it, but it's just one of those things where you kind of jump into the deep end and learn because as I said I was doing makeup before I came here and although I had done similar jobs to this, like I'd worked in social media and stuff which definitely helped. Um, but And like you have your own Instagram and yeah, YouTube. So definitely like, having your own like social media platforms and kind of knowing like social media promotion and things like that helps with this kind of a job because yeah. if you if you come in and you don't have any like obviously I've been reading blogs and watching YouTube since I was 14 so if you came into this job without doing that I think you probably would be like oh my gosh like I what's going on what's yeah. Going on? yeah like you were on Instagram before I was on Instagram <laughs> <laughs> believe it or not I was the one who told Erica about Instagram yeah she was the one who told me about it like so you've always been really into it and uh -huh. then I guess then the kind of only thing you had to learn kind of as such was like the business side yeah. of things. I guess your main jobs really are like you have emails all the content, posts, emails yeah. and like the project management that's mm -hmm. like where you come in a lot I think that's where you've really learned this year too and yeah. really grown like because obviously there's all the content we put out there but some of that content is sponsored by different brands so we work with different brands whether it's an Instagram post or it's a video or it's a blog post and that just does that doesn't just happen <laughs> like there's yeah. emails back and forth like for weeks or sometimes yeah, months get approval. about planning all that stuff and like you know brainstorming an idea and obviously talking about fees and the that side of things and that's where Kaylin like completely helps me as well because often I don't have time to be on emails all the time and like I as a result then Kaylin's able to come in and help me with yeah. the project management side of things and I think that's where I really like appreciate her the most because when you're a small business like we are like you know your clients are your everything so like you don't want them to be waiting for three days for an email back or like mm -hmm. not sending them something on time and you know Kaylin keeps me on top of all that. Management um, more than anything you know ma making how yeah. to manage in the most efficient way possible you know so we've come up with different ways like we star our emails we have spreadsheets for everything mm. we do content planning there's just a lot behind the scenes that you wouldn't actually imagine and then a really quick chat about like what a typical day for us looks like so we start work at half eight on the dock, Kellen and Fairness Tower is always on time since she moved out. Yeah. Um, so we started at half eight and we usually just sit down in the morning and whether I'm probably, these days I'm always editing videos, like it's kind of my first port of call during December because I'm doing vlogmas obviously, but like a general day, we'll sit down and we'll make our plan for the day. So Kellen will have her list of things to do, I'll have my list of things to do and we just try and like allocate time and um, we used to be really good at this actually we used to like literally be like 10 to 11 we're doing yeah. this 11 to 12 we're doing this like right now our schedules are a bit crazy because vlogmas and november was really busy but come january again we're going to go back to that because mm -hmm. that's like the best way to get things done because when that hour is up you yeah. move on and i think we were so efficient when we were doing things like well, that sometimes they wouldn't be done in the hour like but you know but it puts a bit of pressure on you that you know? really need to be done this by an hour yeah. if you're not like maybe you should be faster or something but yeah, it would be good to go back. I just think the key to every day, and I think like the days we get the most done are the days that we sit down in the morning, we, oh, there goes on a fair alarm of reminders. Um, the days we sit down in the morning, we make our list of things to do, and we allocate time to do it. Like, I know it sounds so simple, but like, that's the only way to get things done. Because if you have this big, long, aimlessly, aimless list, like, you'll start ticking things off and next thing it's three o'clock and you're like oh well you know day's nearly over now I still have like four things on the list but but instead if you're like okay from 10 to 11 I'm doing emails then at 11 o'clock I'm moving on to writing a blog post and 12 to 1 I'm taking lunch and then 1 to 2, 2 to 3, 3 to 4 that's the best way to get things done in my opinion um, and then every day we finish work um, officially at 5.30, half 5 <laughs> but it's never really at that time it's always a bit later and then me usually I try and take a break when Tommy comes home he gets home around 5 or half 5 but then I usually always end up doing things in the evenings as well especially this month I'm always editing videos at night time or like filming or doing something 
or shooting or god knows it could be anything these days but generally i still do a bit at the night time i haven't got past that stage yet um even if it's just checking up on my emails and another thing first thing in the morning too we always go through emails we stare whatever needs to be stared delete any stupid ones and we just have a clear vision and of course as well as keeping on top of things like that's obviously our main aim every day just to keep our head above the water and make sure that everyone we're working with but we're always like planning new things too and like say if I use a new brand and I absolutely love it say it's like a new shampoo I'm like yeah like we should email this brand and pitch them something you know I know that my followers will love this I love it you know let's like pitch them a collaboration idea and I guess that takes up a good bit of our time as well because we're yeah. always trying to do new things and just keep the content interesting for both us yeah. and for you and new products and new clothes and yeah. I'm always looking for We're new brands. Always shooting as well. Always shooting. <laughs> and Sometimes we go to events. Yeah, and then events uh, some evenings as well. We've kind of cut down on the yeah, events a bit we don't because we don't hardly any anymore. Actually, we, we get the invitations. It's just I don't know. I guess things got busier. Maybe in the new year now, it's always quieter in January, I February. Know. Um, we go to events in the evening. You evenings. know, I just be wrecked by the time we're actually yeah. around in the evening. I'm like so tired. I have like so much respect for bloggers that go to events like every night. I'm like, how do you have how time? Do you do that? Yeah. <laughs> I never have time. I'm always like more stuff to do. But we do. I'd say on average, we'd go to like one a week. Yeah, yeah. Definitely. One. And we always try Maybe, um, any cool ones. We usually go to. in January, it's busy with events. We'll probably go to a few then. Yeah, the chase one was fun this week with the, like Nick Jonas. Mm -hmm. Like things like that are really cool. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, that's our general day. Um, every day is different in Retro Flame, and that's not even an exaggeration. Like things come up last minute. Sometimes plans don't go to plan. Sometimes the video that I film didn't work out. I have to do it again. So it's never like we might look now that we have it all under control but it's never under control mm -hmm. there's always things popping up and i read this quote like if things are under control that's when you should be worrying like if things are i think it's a good thing that often things aren't are you yawning i'm so tired <laughs> it's a good thing when things aren't under control it kind of shows that like you're kind of always going and trying mm -hmm. new things and things like that so yeah that's like a year in i guess a year in you working like yeah. five days a week say yeah yeah nearly more yeah just over a year now and then i feel like this year is just whoa intense i, I feel like i'm tired from the year yeah well, yeah we are though it's been I especially was up the last two months last night till two i think so that probably didn't help but i definitely feel like i'm tired from like the year it was just busy, wasn't it? It was oh, like, so busy. But I will say as well, one thing I often get asked so fast. is, yeah, one thing I often get asked is like, if you could go back in time with your business or with Retro Flame, what would you have done differently? And like 120%, I would have brought someone onto the team earlier. I wish I'd brought Kayla onto the team two years ago or three years ago because it's insane when you delegate. Mm. <laughs> I've noticed such a difference and this was our best ever year at Retro Flame and probably like the most exciting year so far and YouTube and different brands we got to work with and it was our busiest year and I know it's because there was two of us. And like and moving on from that, I think something else that would be good to talk about are kind of like our key ways of like keeping on top of things and keeping organized. Like what would you say they are? I think like one when it comes to emails mm -hmm. like i think in any business or like in anything emails are the biggest time consumer oh, so ever annoying. I hate them. and me and kellen we actually work off the same email we have like one retro flame she email she hasn't me an email yet i know so i'm, I'm like, kind of happy about <laughs> so slow to delegate but yeah it's probably better for you but we work off one retro flame email so as a result like there's some emails that you know kaylin can take care of straight away but then there's some emails like if it's from a follower if it's from you know something that i have to answer like we were like how are we gonna you know organize the email and this might be really simple to some of you but we didn't know this until last year but you didn't know yeah it's kind of found it. <laughs> but basically you can do different color stars on all the different emails so how we do it is any email that comes in that's for that will be Kaylin to answer it's a green star mm -hmm. me it's a red star any event invitations orange, orange any, any like, like follower fans, emails or like followers. questions from you guys blue. that's blue and what's any important stuff like you know maybe something like um flights and things like that that goes a yellow exclamation mark yeah so we have all these different colors and i know it sounds like the most simple thing in the world but it literally changed yeah. our system it's like great so much more efficient um i'll turn around the camera in a while and i'll show you exactly i won't show you my email but i'll show you where you can do the star thing on gmail it is the best thing ever and it probably sounds so silly but even if it wasn't for like a big business you know just like 
if you were do, doing your own thing but you just want to mix up your email or split up your emails into certain categories I think it'd be yeah, great as well it's really good I've, I've started using it on my email too and I find it great you know it's just brilliant for organising and then the second thing that saves our lives are our content calendars so for every month we have an Excel like content calendar mm -hmm. where we have every single day we have what's going on Instagram, what's going on the blog, what's going on YouTube yeah. for every day, Monday to Friday for the whole month. I'll show you like an empty one now for January and how we do it. Um, but basically that is just so good too. If you're any kind of blog or YouTube channel or whatever it is, even if you're just small, having that content calendar where you can plan ahead is just vital it just ensures that you're going to be consistent you're going to be always yeah. planning ahead like you're never not going to have content because you're organized and you're ready for it so we have that we're already going into january like we're already planning january content and like getting things in there yeah. in different days and stuff because it just makes our life easier yeah yeah and we do all this in google drive um so it's free it's like if you have a gmail account you can use or if you have a google account you can use google drive and you can like is a create new like Excel sheet or create new Something document like that. and you, we just created them. So I'll actually show you now how we did ours in case you want to like take some inspiration and they really just change our lives as well. Mm -hmm. And then we also have one for like our income and for our accounts. So as soon as we work with the brand, we'll, as soon as the collaboration gets confirmed, we'll enter it into, it's like say January, we'll put the brand and then we have a section like the date it's to go live and then yeah. the date the invoice is sent and then the date it's paid That's it's just a good way of keeping on top of like who has paid have we seen the invoice like it's just simple things like that that just make everything really straightforward mm -hmm. and really easy and is there anything else you can think of that saves our lives google um, calendar as well calendar is good for events and just yeah. like reminders and things like that and also i find my alarm clocks very good i always have alarm set like if you have to screenshot certain things or Mm -hmm. things like that that I think that's very good. It's funny because I didn't it's only really this year that I've implemented all those things like properly because you know when I was working full time my other job I just wasn't organized but this year was the year I was like right this is a business like this is like serious we have to have schedules and content and everything and yeah it really made a difference. What else do you have anything else opened? Content. I usually oh have we also have a Another Excel where we have like brainstorm. So say yeah. we think of something, ideas, ideas we put it in and where we have our analytics. Yeah, that's the analytics. That's the one I always have open to. Yeah. Like. So every week we'll see how much we've grown on YouTube and how much we've grown on Instagram and what did we do different this week. And it's just a constant, um, like, I don't know, a constant kind of trying to search to see what's working and see and seeing what's not. And I think that's so important because you might think that like everything that you're doing, okay, I'm doing it my way, it's great, it's what I want to do, but you know, it mightn't be working. And sometimes it's so hard to tell yourself, okay, it's not working, but analytics don't lie. <laughs> so when you see that a blog post didn't do well or a YouTube video didn't do as well as you thought it would do, you can just be like, right, okay, maybe it just wasn't a good video or maybe it just wasn't the best thing to be doing right now it just doesn't like that yeah it doesn't suit the audience so you have to be very like analytic about that stuff and that she helps us a lot so so yeah that's kind of everything that saves our lives and helps us so much we have some fun things coming up in the new year and uh -huh. we're going to be launching some things and i'm going to be doing a site redesign and yeah it's going to be a a busy year i think we really learned this year and we kind of know now the direction that i want retro yeah. to go in and yeah exciting stuff so it's gonna be fun i feel like we've been fun. talking for so long that's already seven minutes and i okay sorry this is probably really long but we figured we'd just do this kind of chat seeing as it was our last day here and i don't know we always get these questions where is this our last day here i feel like I know we'll it's still mad. be working. <laughs> no, we're still going to be working. I feel it's like who's going to do the emails if you don't check them? <laughs> and then I don't want to come back to five hundred emails. <laughs> but emails will be quieter once like next week is over. You know. Um, no, we'll keep on top of all the work in Ireland, but we just won't be in the office here. You know, yeah. we'll be in the office in Ireland. I'm be working remotely from home on Monday morning. <laughs> um, so yeah, I'll do that from now on in January, every Monday morning. So that's kind of everything. Um, I hope you might have found that helpful or just got a few tips and tricks here and there. If you ever have any questions about, I guess, a small business and how we work and what we do, just let us know. Hopefully this time next year, it'll be a bigger team and a better office and... Always get and I'll be someone's boss. <laughs>
feeling. So I hope you found that helpful and we're still gonna be here. It's still very early in the day, so now we have to actually go and do the work. Kellen's working on today's blog post, I'm editing a video, we're keeping on top of emails, and then we're gonna head out shopping soon because we both have like some presents to get for our mom <laughs> and things like that, um, the boys. So we're gonna get that done and then go for our Christmas drinks at the plaza. So yeah, should be a nice little afternoon. And we have to finish getting all the stuff for home ready as well. It's that time of the year again when it starts to draw. It's snowing again. Can you see? Oh my god. Okay, I just changed. We are clocking out and finishing up for the day slash year, kind of. <laughs> and we're just gonna grab some food somewhere now, I think, and then go to the plaza. Than it's ever been No fear of us dressing up in fancy dresses for <laughs> Oh my god. Okay, we're gonna get some food and then go to the plaza. Oh yes, uh, yeah, that's That'd perfect. Yeah. Thank you. Oh. Take me around. Oh, okay. I guess the snow. Oh, 50 something street. You see? I'm from Tajikistan, a small country. Oh, very good. Central Asia, yeah. Have it's you lived here long? Here for almost 10 years. Really? Wow. I'm just here one year and Erica's here three years. Three years? Yeah. And so far, how is it? Yeah, we love it. <laughs> We're going home to Ireland one day now. One day? Monday. Uh, on Monday? Yeah, for, for Christmas. Yeah. Your sisters? Yeah. Sisters. <laughs> Do we look alike? I think so. She's older. Me? Yeah. No. <laughs> I'm not older. She's four years older than me. Those wrinkles, Kayla, you have to get ah. rid of them. <laughs> Take it as a compliment. Uh, I don't think I will. <laughs> That would mean I made you old. <laughs> oh. Too late now. You, you, you have the shovel and you took the hole. <laughs> into my furry dressing gown. I have all the Christmas lights on. I lit some candles. Um, Tommy's at his Christmas party as well tonight. So I'm gonna have a cozy night in now. Um, Kayla went home to finish her video. She's doing like the seven days of Christmas on her channel. So she's doing videos every day too. So we're both a little bit busy. Um, but I figured I'd come home. I wanna do some online shopping tonight. Just when I was packing, I realized I need to get a few more like dressy bits um, for, you know, like St. Stephen's night and New Year's Eve and things like that. So I'm gonna go online now and see what I can find. And I'm looking for a new coat as well. I wanna get like a, a new, like nice coat. And I also bought my From Me To Me Christmas present today for myself. I buy myself a present, kind of like a big present every Christmas. Um, it's just kind of my tradition. <laughs> just like going to the plaza for our for a retro flame party. Um, so yeah, I got mine today, so I can't wait to show you. I got it delivered to Ireland, because um, I bought it on Firefetch and it's coming from Germany, I think. So I'll show you that when I get home. I hope it'll be there now when I arrive. Yeah, that is the plan. Um, tonight was lovely. We went to the plaza last year for the first time, like for our Christmas party. And I think now I'm gonna just like keep going there as long as we're in New York. It's just so stunning there. I think there was like a wedding on tonight and there was another party. It was so busy, but it's just so Christmassy and festive there. Um, and so glam and chic I just love it so that was a really nice night we got some espresso martinis and then we came home so here I am I'm gonna get cozy now and um, do a little bit of shopping edit this video and tomorrow Saturday 
it's crazy two more days until we go home so really the weekend i'd say is going to be spent just kind of getting organized finishing packing picking up the last few bits and then we fly out monday evening so yeah oh it's getting very real now so i'm going to leave it here for tonight so i can go edit this and i will see you tomorrow bye